So we got a bunch of new stuff at DC for Swift UI and in this video I want to just quickly go over how MVVM works in iOS 17 and with the new Swift data stuff. So first of all, let's import Swift data. For some reason, these new Swift macros are part of Swift data, not part of Swift UI. I'm not sure why or if this is actually intended since I'm not using it with Swift data right now in this video, but you will see in a second what I mean with that. So I just have a dummy view here that has a state variable of a text, which is just an empty string and a text field that binds to that text. So this is exactly what you would have in previous Swift UI versions as well. Now I want to introduce a view model to hold this variable here so I don't have the data in my view as you would do with MVVM usually. So let's create our view model, which is a class as always, but now we don't need to inherit from observable object. Instead, we can just create our uh, text variable here and just turn it into an empty string again. But now the magic part is that we actually need to use a macro here, which is at observable. And this observable macro turns all of the publicly facing, so in this case, internal and public variables in my view model, basically into what at published would have done earlier. So now this is basically a published variable in the view model, but I don't need to add at published to every single variable here as I would have had before. So now just add the at observable macro before or at the declaration of your view model, everything else will get automatically generated by Xcode, which is what a macro does in Swift. And now I want to actually use that in my view. And for that, I can just add the model and just initialize it right here. So this will be a view model. But right now I will not be able to bind to that view model to be able to bind to the variables inside of the view model, I will have to add another macro here with, or actually it's a property wrapper, I believe, which is called add bindable. And now I will be able to say $model.text here in my text field, which allows me to bind to that text. And let's also add a quick text field style just so we can actually see it in the preview. And there it is, it just has A in there as that's the placeholder of my text field. But this is the basic concept. You will create your view models as classes and annotate them with the add observable Swift macro. And then in your views, you will create your view models as always, but instead of observed objects, state objects and environment objects, you now just use the add bindable property wrapper if you want to bind to these values, if you only want to read them, of course. So if we get rid of the text field here and just have a text of model.text, then we can, of course, get rid of the add bindable since now we don't want to create a binding to that text. And if we enter something here again, we can actually see it in the preview as well. All right, and as I said, for some interesting reasons, so let me reword uh, revert all of this. So we have our text field and now I add bindable again. I'm not using any Swift data here, right? So should I be able to um, comment out import Swift data for some reason, then it doesn't know what add bindable is. So this is only part of Swift data, not part of Swift UI. Keep that in mind and you get this error here that the initializers are unavailable. You need to actually import Swift data in order to use the add bindable property wrapper. This was just a very quick example. Let me know in the comments down below if you have suggestions or any of the new topics that you would like to see me make a video on. Cheers.